me. Please don't do that to me. Um, yeah, that's, please, <laughs> I, I, uh, I'm not used to when people are nice to me in chat. I'm used to you guys being rude. And that's, I'm like, you know, I'm used to a rude chat. Um, you can always trust my links. I'm on your side. I believe you. It's, what's cat? Oh, it's cats, mongas. I never watched Disney destroy the Star Wars before in the next 10 years than ever watch a movie Cats. Yeah, I don't know. People, I, I honestly am not that into Star Wars. People are like, oh my god, you have to get into Star Wars. But I've just never been able to get into it. Um, I don't know if people are just being like weird gamer bros about the new movie or if it's actually bad. I don't know about the franchise as a whole. I don't know much about it. Um, I just know that Baby Yoda is a cute meme. And he's freaking adorable. He really is. I've honestly, I've thought about watching Mandalorian just because of the cute baby Yoda. Not memeing. Completely serious here. Um, you look like Bella, Bella Thorne. I look like Bella, Bella Thorne. Like Bella Thorne times two. Um, I've gotten that one once. I've gotten Bella Thorne. I've gotten other ones as well. I don't know. I, I get random, random ones. I like it when people say celebrities, though, because then I could search a face, like, an image of their face and be like, oh, like, yeah, I think they're pretty. Um, I think it's really funny when people say I look like I dub, so I think that's fucking hilarious. You know what? I'll fucking take it. I'll be a female version of I dubs. Why not? Except I won't say the N-word. Um, sign language is super helpful, even on emergency situations. They can't communicate in theater, concerts, scuba diving. Bruh. Yeah, it is. I want to I wanna learn how to do it just because it seems like a good thing to learn. And also, you're going to make, make a deaf person's, like, you know, day probably a lot fucking easier if you know it. Um, yeah. Even typing, I type super slow. I actually took computer lessons growing up, and that's why I could type pretty decently. I agree, typing lessons should be a thing. Everybody should have to take computer lessons growing up. It doesn't matter if you even have a computer at home, you should still take computer lessons. I had my roommate freshman year of college, barely knew how to use a computer. Um, she was from India and she went to like this very like private high class school or whatever in the mountains. Um, I know that sounds like fake, that doesn't even sound real, but I swear. Um, and I had to teach her how to save a document. I had to teach her how to use Word. I taught her how to open new tabs. I remember one time we got into an argument or whatever and I'm like, you, I, I can't say her name obviously, but I was like, her name starts with K. And I'm, I kind of made a joke all the time that it was like, oh, K Kardashian, because she looks like a Kardashian. Um, and I was like, listen, I feel like you, I, I'm not teaching you anything. Like, I, like, you're not paying attention or whatever. Like, how, um, I can't, like, help you with your work all the time. Like, you have to learn how to do some stuff by yourself. And she's like, Andrea, like, you did teach me some stuff. And I was like, what did I teach you then? And then she just showed me, she just did open a new tab. And I was, I died inside. I was like, really? Out of the, all, all the things I've been trying to explain to you, this is, this is what you've learned that's new. Um, so yeah. <sighs> um, you'll come, won't you come with me? If you do, I'll float you to flow. Why are you talking about flow? I'm so confused. Um, you're the worst person ever. Better? Yes, that's, you know, that's what I need. Pixie the queen. I am a queen, but I'm like an evil queen, okay? You're not supposed to worship me. You're supposed to want to rebel against me. Or, you know, perhaps argue in my favor if I am that good at my arguments. I am not Bella Thorne. <laughs> the percent of deaf people in the world is point zero, 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 so we should focus on that, Pixie. Well, it's just, you know, it, it's... It's a skill that can be very useful to learn and can help a person out. Just saying. I do this cute AF, so. Um, I don't think you look like I Dobbs, but what is strange? But what is strange? Yeah, no, he. I. I can see some sort of resemblance. I'm listen. I'm willing to take any celebrity look. Well, I don't know if you'd say celebrity that he is, but any, any look alike from a person who has a big audience, you know what? I, like I'll, I'll just fucking take it. Um, doesn't matter what it is. He can call me like a Grinch. I'll be like, I look like a Grinch. Okay. We'll go with it. Um, is typing not centered in all schools in the U S these days? I don't know. I don't know if it is or is it. Um, easiest Google search ever. 
think about it. Oh, and that was meant to me. Um, gee, I never freaking took typing lessons, and when I was smaller, I mainly used the keyboard to just play games, more like GameCAD. I learned how to type really fast, not just from typing games in my school, um, but I learned how to type fast using Club Penguin growing up. I, I was an avid Club Penguin player. I would, um, there, there were many things I would do on Club Penguin. Sometimes I would pretend I owned the pizza shop and ran the pizza shop and I was the manager there, like a true Karen. Um, no, but um, I, I would do that. And then one time this person came in um, and started fucking the pizza place up and they were like Brent's curtains and, you know, flips over tables. And I was like, oh, what do you want? Like, do you want money to get out of here? Like, I'll give you money. And then the person was like, no, I just want to create chaos and destruction. And that inspired me um, in Club Penguin. That, that really inspired me because I was like, wow, everybody else before wants to rob the shop and this guy just doesn't give a fuck. So um, I bought the same costume that guy had and then started creating chaos and destruction in the pizza parlors um, in Club Penguin. So that was the thing I did. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I also, <laughs> I, I used to do the uh, cringy, um, what is it, role play family shit. Like I would adopt like a penguin child or whatever and then it would always run away because I wouldn't like tell them like they were on candy and I wouldn't give it to them. Um, in this role play fake penguin stuff. So looking back that's a little bit creepy but those were my club penguin adventures. Um, pixie without glasses. <laughs> yeah, I can, <laughs> I'm in blind hell without my glasses, though. I started learning typing when I was in second or third grade in a tiny school in North Dakota in the 1990s. Every school should have proper typing classes now. They should. It's very useful. Of uh, it? Um, I've heard of the movie It. I've heard of the book as well. Are you talking about that? Uh, 466 million is 0.001%. That's still a fucking huge number. That's bigger than the United States. Um, gotta type too fast to talk shit in league. Um, when I met someone who can't type, I look at them like a Betamax, and I a then I ask, they still make you? Now, obviously, you have to learn how to type fast just so you can assert your dominance over other people and call them beta bitches. That is the only, that's obviously the reason why you should learn how to type fast. You must assert dominance. Um... Type Racer was a time killer in my media class. We actually got, like, CDs. Maybe it's because I went to a private school or whatever. Um, but they gave us CDs that had typing games on them. Um, I'm trying to remember the names, but I can't remember any of them. And people would purposely cheat the system and start typing really badly at first. Like, they would just mash their hands on the keyboard because then they would make the next levels easier for them so they could get through the game faster. And I remember being so shocked and so upset about that. I was like, here I am, working my ass off in this typing game, and people are just cheating the system so they could say that they got to the last level really quickly. But not because they are fast typers, but because they cheated. I was so offended. Um, I don't have, I don't want, I don't know. I think, I don't think that there's much of a reason to focus on looks. Because we all become old and wrinkly anyways. And like, so it's not a very, like, I, I like dressing cute. I like wearing cute clothes, buying cute clothes or whatever. Um, I don't like makeup because when I put makeup on, it really also, like, fucks up my self-esteem. It's like, why do I have to look better than I do now, you know? Like, why do I have to look prettier when I'm happy how I am now? Um, why am I not good enough? So I, I don't like makeup for that reason. So I barely wear it. Um... But yeah, I don't know if it's so much low self-esteem as it is, like, we're all gonna die old and wrinkly, so why why focus so much on on things that are gonna be gone, right? You should focus on health, because that can help you live a longer and healthier life or whatever, and be less of a pain to others um, when you get sick or whatever, but yeah, I guess cosmetic things are like, eh. Um... Well, LMAO, I guess people under some age may have never used keyboards. How am I only 20 and a boomer? Um, you're not a boomer. Boomer is a set of mind, okay? Um, boomer is a mentality. Bro, I had that sixth grade computer class that discovered the backdoor to network for, created a group chat with the entire class, and we all played CSGO on land. Shit was dope. 
I am jealous. That never happened with our class. We would have some free computer days where we could do whatever we wanted. And I would, um, yeah, I, we would play Club Penguin and Pop Tropica, basically. That was our, I don't know, kittens. Is that, is that here? Okay, wait. There, you got it. Um, yeah, but we played Club Penguin and Pop Tropica. That was our time. Um, Rockville is making a game based on Club Penguin. I mean, you can still access Club Penguin now. It's technically offline, but if you go to Club Penguin Rewritten, you'll be able to play Club Penguin like the old times, um, which I've done before. <laughs> I played the, the, there's like a strategy game there or whatever that's really addicting. I don't know. Maybe I'll show it to you guys one day on live stream. Um, but I used to play that game for hours because I have no life. Um, Pl Club Penguin is some millennial version of what Roblox is to Zoomers. I feel like Club Penguin is better than Roblox. I remember Roblox being a thing, but really who played it? It's just like, isn't Roblox just like worse Minecraft or am I getting confused with something? Um, it seems like your first puffle is blue, SMH. My first puffle was blue and red. I got a blue and red one. And then when I got membership, um, by the way, in Club Penguin Rewritten, everybody's a member, I got, I think, a pink puffle. Yeah, I see, oh, I already read that. I'm a programmer and I can't type fast. Bro, that sounds terrible if you can't type fast and you're a programmer. Is it? Capitalist pigs. I am a capitalist pig. I revel every day in my filthy capitalism. Yes, Pennywise the Clown says you'll float too because he lives in the sewers and a child eating clown that when he brings bodies down there they float hence you'll float to the floaters go you're amazing just the way you are um i like pennywise i guess i don't know he's a evil monster right um but he has the look and he owns it so yeah this is a pro pennywise stream he's also a clown just like me so we relate um of course i don't want to eat children and I might be Satan, but I don't want even Satan. I'm, I'm not that bad, right? I'm like a benevolent Satan. So there's levels there. We don't always vibe, but he ain't the worst. Um, Merry Crisis. <laughs> Merry Chrysler. <laughs> Merry Anxiety. <laughs> um, makeup does not go prettier if you want to go... For the look, that's all you, but not something you need as an improvement. Some girls like as a self-empowerment thing, but your subjective look never depends on it. Yeah, I don't know. There is, like, I definitely understand how some women see it as a self-confidence thing. Um, and it could really, it could really change how you look, right? You can have, like, a whole new face or whatever. Um, but when I try doing that shit to myself, there's a bigger, let's say it's 60-40, right? Like, 60% of the time, I'll just be like, why did I do this? Now I have to wipe this shit off my face, and my clo my pores are going to be clogged. And then all for what? All for basically nothing. And then other times, I'm like, okay, I look, I look cute. <laughs> um, they rape girls in the book version of It. It's pretty fucked up. Yeah, in the version of It, they had a, they basically had a child orgy. I don't know how I'd be able to get, read, to read through that. That, that shit sounds weird. You got him, Zoomer! It was Neopets back in my day. Yeah, no, Neopets is bomb. I play Neopets. I play, play Neo World. I was so upset when they shut off the website. Because that shit, I would argue, was perhaps even better than Club Penguin. Because there was a storyline. And there were little missions you had to, comp you had to accomplish um, every day. So, I like that. That, that it, was, it was pretty good. Um, professionalism kills social interactions. It's based on looks and behavior. Um, what do you mean by professionalism? Do you mean like, oh, like dress codes and shit like that? Because, I, I, yeah, there's a lot of dress codes I don't agree with. There's still some places that, you know, have like a dress code of wearing heels. I think that's so fucking sexist. I would fight my company against that. Like, forcing or like pushing women to wear heels in a workplace environment is just... That shit is uncomfortable, and there's no way you'd tell a guy that he'd have to wear heels as well, so I don't know. Karjitsu? No, I like Karjitsu, but it was too much like rock, paper, scissors, you know? Okay, when we're saying your game is better than this new stuff, 
<laughs> these kids have nowadays. Listen, I'm pretty sure Roblox existed in my time. I'm just, I'm giving you an objective fact, okay? It's not, I'm, it's not like I'm saying Minecraft better, Fortnite. I'm just saying Roblox seems to be like the worst version, the worst version of Minecraft. Um, I have an original Gachi keychain pet, um, pet from 1997. I found in a closet bat box. I remember Gachi. I don't remember exactly what it was. I just remember the name. But you know where it really was at? It, it was with what really was the peak of my elementary existence. No question, Tamagotchis. Tamagotchis were bomb. I had like a million. I had like 20. Um, I'd get really upset because I would have to leave them at home sometimes and they would start beeping. So my mom, like I asked my mom to like take care of them, but they would still die because my mom didn't know how to take care of them. Um, but yeah, Tamagotchis were lit. They were litty. Um... <laughs> Santa is a coming hologram. How, if he's a hologram, wouldn't he not be able to deliver toys though? To be fair, if you're a coder but not a hacker, you probably don't need to be fast. It's more about thinking smart and writing clean algorithms. If you're a hacker, you probably need to be fast too. LOL. That picture is priceless. Or are you sending the the pixie clown pic? It is priceless. It's beautiful. So now we should discuss your discomfort with um sad films but specific admiration um for no two violent psychopathic characters patrick bateman pennywise one is a child eating demon clown from hell okay listen sad films make me sad but films that involve like murder or psychopathic tendencies there's like a disconnect there i guess it's like i guess less real like sad films try to make themselves realistic to tug on your little heart feels and you're like holy shit i could totally see this happening in real life or i'm so invested in the character now that it hurts um so why would i want to be sad you know like that's not fun um but there's just something about people murdering each other on screen that is slightly entertaining especially when you know it's all fake right um there's no way i would enjoy it in real life that sounds fake now, but I, <laughs> fuck. Um, okay, I am not a crazy killer. I appreciate life, um, but it's just, you know, spooky dooky stuff is interesting. I mean, when I was little, I used to read scary murder stories all the time, and I would cut on between my parents watching, um, hi, INB Clouds, thank you for the bits. It is much appreciated. You are <laughs> the real MVP of this chat. And I really appreciate them. Thank you. Have a Merry Christmas. So yeah, so I used to, um, yeah, I used to cuddle in between my parents and watch America's Most Wanted by my recommendation, right? So my parents would be watching something and I'd be like, please, please put on <laughs> America's Most Wanted, please. Um, so they would do that. And then afterwards, cops would come on, but I didn't like cops. So I would ask them to put Dateline ID as well. And when I found the Dateline ID 24 hour channel, it was game over for them. I remember betting my dad 10 bucks that he could find Dateline ID and he was like, it's not on at this hour. And he found it and game over. Um, so yeah. So I, I like murder stuff sometimes, but I'm not murderous, right? That, that's, I, I like life, I like people. I care for people very easily. So I'm not in the, I'm not trying to be creepy, I guess. Um, or Glee, or G. So now, or yeah, or G, or G. How do you pronounce it? I don't know how to pronounce or or G or G. <laughs> uh, what's wrong? I'm saying it right. I I swear, or G. I don't know. If they had they had a kid one I, I just repeated the same word like twenty times. Um they had a kid version of that in it and I think it's strange. Um so now we should just oh I already read that. Ori How else are we gonna cat call your ass in the workplace? Why are you taking this away from us, the evil feminist? Oh, and Merry Christmas, handsome sensei. Yeah, I'm just this evil feminist because I think women shouldn't have to wear heels in the workplace. How dare I, right? How dare Dare I want equality for men and women? Men having feelings and me promoting them, sharing their feelings. Oh my God, I am just, I am the 
brick and mortis. I'm ruining men's lives. Business stress sucks for everyone. It does. It really, I, I don't know. I have some cute business outfits that I like. Um, but yeah, the majority of time it's like, why does it have to be in like such uncomfortable clothing or whatever? Why can't I just wear jeans and like a nice shirt and go and plow my day? Um, which some places are starting to, to do that. They want their employees to feel more comfortable in the workplace. Um, if you code long enough, you'll type fast. What does BBTV mean? I don't know what that means. Um, little cute bloody pixie necromancer queen. Oh, I was not, you look like a psychopathic type person. Am I wrong? It looks, no, I am not. I'm a big emotional baby, okay? I, I care about people a lot. And I'm just, I like murder mystery stuff, and I like reading about it, because I like mysteries. I like solving mysteries a lot, and thinking about, like, logical puzzles and stuff. That's why I like about it. Um, but I think, I think, like, if I ever came to a situation where, I don't know, I feel bad when even if I hear somebody accidentally, I'm just like, no, why did I do that? I didn't mean to. Um, I'll never understand people who I guess want to harm others purposely, like, even if I'm feeling sad, and even if I'm feeling terrible when somebody made me feel terrible, I just, I don't want them to feel bad either. <laughs> I'm like, I don't care if you made me feel bad. Like, why, you know, I don't want to, sp like, spread the hatred around. And I don't care if that makes me sound like a hippie um, who smokes acid and is, like, you know, high on weed or whatever. But it's true. I just, I don't understand that feeling or logic. I've done it once, and it was just, I never again. I'm not going to do that shit again. Um, good night, 133TC Poot. Sleep well. <laughs> Have a good night. Um, whenever I decay how to pronounce a word, I just do a quick Google search and hit that icon. Well, you see, I read most, I learned a lot of English through reading, so I just, you know, I just go with it. Like, I used to think island was pronounced as Island. It was like, oh, look at the pretty Island. <laughs> I remember the first time I did that, my, la my class laughed at me, and I was like, why is everybody laughing? Um, whenever, uh, Davin Butter, oh my fault, what's Davin? Oh, that was the name of something else. Um, in Japan, they started their own Me Too movement around not having to wear heels. Well, that's all, that's good for them. Um, it was called Kutu. I know they're also trying to start a movement against, um, what is it called, upskirting, that apparently they really do have a problem with their trains and the women there being upskirted. Um, I hope it takes off. I don't know. Japanese culture is interesting, but it can be very repressive. Um, especially, like, they still have very, I guess, like, patriarchal views about women. Even though women are allowed to, like, work and stuff, they're usually just given, like, secretarial roles and shit like that. At least from what I've read. If anybody has other insight, feel free to correct me. Um, I'll run through the BB BTV spa stream. It's a setup. Well, the more you learn. I need, I yeah, I'm definitely getting a second monitor. <laughs> period. Then that shit would make everything so much easier. Um, you could like this show called Scooby-Doo. I did like Scooby-Doo growing up. I was obsessed with Scooby-Doo. I love Daphne. And I'm just saying, it's really unfair that all the awesome female characters growing up were all, um, were, how do you call it, were all redheads, okay? Kim Possible, redhead. Sam from Totally Spies, redhead. Um, like, Daphne, redhead. I, 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 you know, I was just in shock. The girl from Wink Club, redhead. Um, I guess Sailor Moon was blonde, but still. I, I, it was, a uh, it was a thing. I, I wanted to be a redhead so badly at a certain point in time just because of that. I was like, I want to look like those girls. Um, Merry Christmas, John Raja. Have a, I hope you have a good Christmas. Walmart. That's how you pronounce Walmart. Japan is a strange place. Pepper laugh. Santa is a capitalist. His currency is good behavior. Oh shit, that's a fucking hot take. That's a new take. I've never thought about it before. That's, that's true. Um, but is it, though? Because it's not like he, you, he can buy anything with good behavior. He just decides whose presence he gives out based on good behavior, right? Unless if you want to say that good behavior, like, runs his, like, factory, question mark, his communal co-op place. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure what argument you make there. 
There's a whole obscure thing about teaching perverts how to build cameras into their backpacks or luggage and they just hang it under their skirts with the cameras pointing up. Pervs are creative. That is so fucked up. That is really weird. That is quite strange. Why would you go through such lengths to harass women? <laughs> and Daphne cosplay? Maybe one day. I'd be interested in that. I'd love to do a Scooby Dooby gang cosplay or whatever. Just have a bunch of people with me. I don't know. What do you do for fun besides arguing the internet? Like, what is your idea of fun? <laughs> Almost all of my ideas of fun involve arguing? <laughs> Question mark. Um, I like Mondo United Nations when I was still in that club. Um, I am very into social entrepreneurship and social corporate responsibility. So I really like um, the idea of businesses that do like socially healthy things and like finding businesses like that. And I'm trying to start my own company based on that. Um, I'm very into, what is it? I like, I'm a huge movie geek as well as like just a TV show geek. I, I consume ridiculous amounts of video every day. Um, I am making my own YouTube series. I'm not halfway through it on yet, but I'm working on it. So I'm making video essays and things like that. Um, so yeah, those are things that I think are fun. Those are my fun things. Um, and my favorite movies are probably American Psycho, Heathers, and, 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 and Beef Vendetta. Um, the real problem with women in the workplace in Japan is that they get married and pregnant and they are first to move down in the company. Vox did a good video on it. I liked if you could send me that video, I am big, I am big clouds. Um, from what, that kind of happens to women in America too. Probably, maybe not on the same extent, but a lot of employers justify having like lower wages for women because they're like a work risk since they could get pregnant. Um, which is fucked. You know, I'm a redhead lol, I have a red beard. Not even my hair and people give me ginger shit all the time. I'm happy with my hair color now. Um, I've always, like, been okay with it. It's that one time that I really wanted to do pastel pink for, like, a year. Because I was like, that would be fun. And I've never dyed my hair before. Um, but that is, that is no longer. Uh, yeah, I did want to be a little redhead when I was a child. So I could be, like, all those cool main characters. Because elves are magical. They get paid in good behavior. How, how though? Like what, 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 what do you mean they get paid in good behavior? Are you saying that Chanta exploits children? And I, I just don't understand the dynamic, right? So let's say Chanta, uh, let's say, let's say um, Santa is a capitalist, right? And he is technically exploiting the labor of children to get, of good behavior to help funnel his elves. I'm, I'm just, I'm confused on the whole dynamic here, right? Um, stumped her. You kind of did stump me for a little bit. If you watched America's Most Wanted every night as a kid, I'd imagine you got a bit of a feel probably gonna get randomly murdered, so better figure out the psychopath so you can convince him to let you go, Monka. Um, the only thing that has ever actually taught me how to escape a psychopath, perhaps, um, or, you know, if they're reasonable, would be actually the Nancy Drew movie, um, that was, like, made in, like, 2000 and something. Because she has a scene where she's captured by the two bad guys, and she's like, oh, you're gonna, I, you know what, I'll show the scene later. But she's like, oh, are you sure you want to do that? You're gonna, like, leave DNA, or your footprints already, or, like, tracked here, or some shit. She was giving, like, all these really good reasons why they should not kill her there. Um, so I was like, wow, if I'm ever in a similar scenario, I'm gonna start saying that shit, and hope they let me go. Um, the date debate team was fun in high school. I know a master debater, ha ha ha, master debater when I see you on your kind of club. It is my kind of club, though. Um, favorite, I already responded to that. When you're 17 and most often 18, the legal old, you're usually old enough to know sex and the consequences. Um, I guess so, yeah, for most people. Radical, revolutionary, too. Hypers. Holy shit, did you hear about the medical college in Japan that lowered the scores of women? I did not hear about that. Holy shit, wait, did they get outraged? How did somebody find out? Like, how, how is that discovered? That is so fucked up. <laughs> that is something. I hate when people talk about 
like feminism and they were like oh well there's more women in college than men and then they like conveniently ignore that for like a lot of jobs women need like the same amount of education or even more to be considered like basically an equal standing as another guy who has like less education or less experience right so in some cases women even need like twice as much education to be considered for the same position that a guy is um so yeah it's just it's, i think it's very convenient people always forget that other and the other end of that problem um well you need to have a number or else it would be confusing to monitor what do you mean um what would be confusing to monitor the legal age of consent in japan is 13 not 17. I read somewhere that that was, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, I don't want to say this because I might be wrong, but I read somewhere that that was just more of like, in a in like one specific district or whatever, but in like most districts it's a lot higher than that or higher than that, I'm not sure. Does it mean an adult can't be molested or manipulated into sex? If you have sex with an adult who didn't have the mental cap capabilities to know what they're doing and still rape. True. The elves aren't children, they're like 800 years old. But goodwill is like the dollar there, just used for trade. So does everybody get like goodwill coins? Like how does that make sense? Like if you produce a thousand, a thousand toys for good kids, you get a thousand like good kid coins that you can like exchange. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'm buying this. Can we agree Santa is the greatest warrior of all time, second only to God? Those dudes invented the damn kink. I don't know. I don't think I don't think Santa was doing pervy things when he goes down people's chimneys and leaves presents. It, it, it sounds like a I'm in and out sort of deal. I don't think he has the time to go to go exploring people's houses really. Hey, he has a limited schedule. He's got to get all those presents out. You know what bothers me? Girls are afraid of getting rough, but alcohol is much worse for consent. Um, I don't know. Yeah, alcohol is terrible for people in general. <laughs> yeah. Japan Medical School link mentioned above. Hmm, interesting. Let me copy paste it. Um, Pixie, it was the response to me talking about my why the orgy comment in Stephen King was not rape or sexual assault. Oh, I don't know. Apparently the girl was like a lot older than the boys and apparently there was like one certain point where the boy didn't want to do it and then they forced him. Um, so that sounds like rape. But I don't know. Let me Google this. Give me a second. <clears throat> wow Dr. Detesco is a female applicant to admit fewer women sent shockwaves to Japan and the world oh I wonder how yeah I wonder how many women were affected were affected by this like throughout the years and they just caught it now or caught it then <clears throat> only to the last two years okay um, but the practice has been going on over a decade. Great. Um, beautiful. As the lowest proportions of female doctors. That's cool. Uh, according to Nation Vern. Okay, cool, 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 cool. <clears throat> Rhyming former education ministry bureaucrat. By admitting his son in return for government <laughs> subsidies. Beautiful. The school elected a woman as a new president for the first time ever in September. Oh, God. Following a nationwide investigation by the, by the education ministry that covered 81 schools, Shoa University in Tokyo last week became the second university to admit rigging test scores against those who were sitting exams for a second time or more, accepting underqualified relatives of alumni, but denied discriminating against women. At least they didn't, at least hopefully they didn't do that. Oh god, my head hurts. That sucks. Ugh. Um. Legal age consent in the USA is 12. But most states have it above 17 and 18, no? Um, I have the actual best thing to try humanizing yourself is to make them see you as a person rather than an object. Telling them your name over and over may help. Are you talking about, are you talking about stream? <laughs> I should just say my name over and over again. I don't know, some people who might be creepy with that or try to, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm suspicious. Um, oh fuck, this always happens to me when I'm using Streamlabs, it suddenly goes to the way top of the page and I lose my place in comments. Um, you know, oh yeah, you should check out the YouTube channel NerdWriter1, he does a really cool video essays and all kinds of stuff, I'll check him out then. I like video essays, they're just fun.
I just, I just, I like looking at them. Um, do, 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 do. No, the situation was the federal law of Japan is 13, but most districts keep fornification of under 18 as illegal. However, the federal exception is used in situations of deep romantic love, which is subjectively still an incredibly fucked up situation. Yeah, no, that's, how could a 12-year-old have deep romantic love? Or a thirteen-year-old, or whatever, with you know, let's say a forty-year-old. <laughs> that's 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 fucked. Um, <laughs> this is a politics stream, Bextech. What are you expecting? This is my life. This is what I do ninety percent of the internet times. The good old coins is exactly how it works. Proof positive. I am suspicious. Oh, thank you for the video, I am Cloud. So let me let me open it in a new tab so I can watch it later. Um, come here. Let me mute it also so it doesn't auto start. So basically, sex before marriage in Japan is rape under 18, but marrying a minor of non penetrating sexual acts are different stories. Um, you know, technically, pedophilia is legal in the United States when you're married. <laughs> And that's, you know, it's not even a cape of deep love, right? There, there's various states where as long as you get the parents' permission, like a 13 or 14-year-old can be married off to a 40-year-old, and it's completely legal, and that's really fucked. <laughs> that should not happen. Um, remember that dude that was trying to justify child marriage? Or, like, how do you call it? Um, abolishing age of consent laws? That was a wild ride. Um, oh, it was on Vex video, it was an AJ video, my bad. Um, wait, where was I? I mean, yeah, t -t 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 pervy Santa, ha 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 ho. Um, I mean, yeah, he's not pervy in the houses, but there are 364 days in a year left. After all, he sees you when you're sleeping, he knows when you're awake, followed by threats of potential violence if one is not good for goodness sake. Okay, in defense... You know, in the fan, okay, here, I'm playing, let me play devil's advocate for Santa. We don't know, um, how accurate that betrayal of Santa is, you know, maybe it's true that Santa is always watching you, however, perhaps, you know, it's just an automatic updating list, you know, like a good place, you just have, like, a percentage of good and bad points, and if you're, it, it just, like, updates automatically, Perhaps at one point in time that was true for Santa, but technology evolves, and I have no reason to believe that the North Pole doesn't update its its you know its technology as well. Um, so yeah, I'm just saying it's a possibility that he's changed his ways. Um, Japan is one of those countries that looks amazing to outsiders. Honestly, one of my favorites, but they have a lot of internal normalized bullshit that's steeped in tradition. It's a weird enigma of the world. Why is my logic valid? Um, yeah, I think I said already copy paste the video. Yep, I did. Um, and the amount of female doctors so low, where is Ben Shapiro gonna find a wife? <laughs> Bro, Ben Shapiro is obsessed with his wife, with his, how do you call it, doctor wife. Like, not, not obsessed in the sense of, like, oh, you know, she's my wife and I love her so much. But in the sense of, like, she's a doctor. My wife, doctor. Like, I swear every sentence he talks about her, he has to mention she's a doctor. Like, there's no way to hold it back. Which is kind of endearing in a way that he's, like, so, I guess, like, proud of her. But at the same time, I'm not sure if it's, like, that or if it's just, like... She's, but I don't know. It's it's strange. I I really don't know Shapiro. Um, which by the way, for those of you guys who don't know, Bernie Sanders, they're trying to paint him as a fucking anti-Semitic dude, which is hilarious. They really want him to be a Ben Shapiro. It's it's crazy Twitter threads that I see about people trying to paint him as a right winger. I'm like, holy shit, you know nothing, or an anti-Semite at the very least. Um. Do do do. Um, that was false, by the way. The age of consent in the U.S. range between 16 and 18 from state to state, but has a glucose in age exception. Well, no, I'm talking about child marriage. It's legal. You can legally marry a 14-year-old with somebody who's, like, older, um, with parents' consent. Um, no, it isn't. It's love. Oh, yes, because a 12-year-old can totally understand what love is. Um... 
I thought the holidays were not included for political stuff. No, there is no mercy. I take no mercy in my channel. Okay, everybody must suffer through the politics here. Um, both, he's only giving out gifts to keep people distracted from his L slavery. Fence is a fucking narcissist. Okay, wait a second. Like, do we have proof that the elves are enslaved? Like, can it, it doesn't seem like he's torturing them or whipping them or anything like that. I'm just a little bit skeptical here, buddy. Um. Oh, I love. Oh, I, uh, most of the laws under eighteen. Um, now I don't know why I'm getting into this, but so sixteen year olds and eighteen year olds who date in high school end up getting in courts. Otherwise, I know no one would argue anything else. I'm 23 and like older woman, 50 to 90. Oh my. Well, at least you're, at least you have a much fuller developed brain than a 12 year old. Fuck you, Santa. And fuck you for taking my cookies. I wonder like if Santa would ever just want a nice beer, right? Like if he ever just gets really tired, maybe he doesn't drink beer or alcohol on the job because, you know, then he wouldn't be able to like ride his sleigh. But I wonder if he's ever, like, fucking milk again. Like, I, I'm just tired of these little shits. I just want to, I want a nice beer. Um, doesn't she, doesn't the red states have the polygamy cult leaders who legally marry 12-year-olds? You mean Utah? That happened in Utah. Um, I don't know if it was 12-year-olds, but they're very young kids. Who can vote, drink, and shoot a gun? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, I'm not, yeah, he is a grown man that can do that. Um, if you're a chat chart topping rapper, you can get away with murder. A lot of people can get away with murder if they have enough cash. <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah, he is Jewish. Um, they're mad at him because he won't support he won't support Israel blindly, and the Israel Israel and Palestine is a really complicated situation. I don't even know how to begin this, dissecting that shit because it's like so much. Um, but I feel like it's fair to say that Bernie Sanders is not, um, uh, how do you call it, anti-Semitic just because he doesn't support Israel full-heartedly. Um, chat, are you doctor yet? What's doctor? Trump is a horrible president, I agree. Ben Shapiro brings up his wife to doctor to say fuck Medicare for all. Oh, that's, that would make sense, right? Like, my wife, doctor, doesn't agree with Medicare for all. I'll listen to her. She's a doctor. Is he? Oh, thank you, Vivo Tichel. Look at the six bits. For the five bits. It is much appreciated. Um, not even a Christmas miracle will give us a pixie gaming stream chat. There is no mercy. Yes, I like talking too much. I'm a fucking narcissist. <laughs> I just love talking and reading your entertaining comments. Um, ben Shapiro is only good memorizing his books, what he lacks is problem-solving abilities and high-order thinking skills. Ben Shapiro is the art of somebody who talks really fast to make you think that his point is right, right? So he'll go fucking rap god mode on you, um, and, you know, not give you a chance to respond. Throw back to when he called, uh, <laughs> uh, uh what, what is it, a notorious right-winger in the UK, a lefty. I will never forget that moment. That moment, like, if I had to make a list of top ten Ben Shapiro moments, that'd be there. Um, the elves are not slaves, they get paid in goodwill coins. <laughs> I, I don't know, I, I have not seen any media that suggests that they get paid in goodwill coins, but perhaps if that's the case, um, then you can make an argument that he is a filthy capitalist. Santa has a beer belly of course he drinks. Are you sure that's not, like, because of the amount of cookies he has, though? Just saying, you know, he, if he actually eats all those cookies every night, that's a lot. Um, the Santa takes most of the food back to help feed the elves and reindeer. Hey, that's, that's a benevolent Santa. I like that take. That's, because that's a way too much, like, cookies and milk for one human being. Or I guess he's a magical being. It's way too much for an entity to consume, period. Like, that, that shit's all fucking lot. Um, bro, Santa be downing spiked eggnog. <laughs> What's the difference between me and 12-year-old? Not much. Are you, are you sure? There's a lot. There's a really big difference between you and a 12-year-old. A 12-year-old literally has a less developed brain and is probably going through the start of puberty or hasn't even reached it yet. 
um, which means that their body hasn't even, like, begun to, like, even partly or fully mature. And even if they did go through puberty, their brain is still freaking developing a lot. So they still don't understand the full, like, actions of consequence or have a very big understanding of, like, sex to begin with. So those are huge gaps in maturity as well as independence, right? You can theoretically get a job and live by yourself, a 12-year-old cannot. Um, they don't really have that chance. So it's a very uneven power dynamic. They tend to still see people older than them as superiors or people in positions of authority. Um, despite even if they're technically like not a teacher, not a parent, age sometimes just begets that. Um, so that's, you know, it's not a very healthy power dynamic to begin with. It's a brain that's still developing and can't consent. And it's a child whose body is still developing and, it, you know, isn't even like fully matured yet. It's still child. Um, so that's a lot. That's a big, very big difference. Um, milk and cookies is an American thing, by the way. In Chile, they leave pan de pascua. Ireland just have a pint of Guinness with pie and the French leave carrots for the reindeer. That's cute. That's nice. Okay, so Santa has a, a very wide range of food that he gets to eat. That's, that's really sweet, actually. Poor Santa is not going to gorge himself or over... How do you call it? I guess, like, overgorge himself on milk and cookies. That's that's good to know. I remember one time growing up, I saw my dad eat the cookies, and I got really upset. I was like, "That those are supposed to be Santa's cookies. How can you eat Santa's cookies like that? Like, you know, the poor guy is traveling around the world, and you, you took his cookies. Um, <laughs> exclaim um, Oh, the doctor thing was the stereotypical Indian stuff. Um, was AFK only heard my wife is a doctor a few times from the stream. I had a hamster once and my dad stuck a tube up my butt and it please oh god I don't want to see that mental image oh my oh me um so I, I was just replying in general what sounded like some attempt to make an argument a 12 year old and a 25 year old could be ah oh, fuck not again my stream went crazy um that's why you five and 25 year olds could be all right somehow don't want to sound like a mormon or forced marriage sympathizer <laughs> oh god you try to mean it like no one outside of a cult or twitch like that um <laughs> if you can't tell the difference between a 12 year old in regards to love and if everyone disagrees with you you are wrong what's the current um what's the current standing on whether santa is a capitalist or communist i am still leaning towards santa is a filthy commie okay that is my current stance. I'm having a hard time changing it. Maybe it's just because I'm a stubborn person. But he's giving out gifts for free. Very young, capitalistic-like. Um, his elves seem to live, like, in a commune together. Um, they don't seem to be forced to work. They seem to be all participating, you know, each according to their will, to each according to their need or whatever, right? They seem to be very well adapted at making toys, so that seems to be their duty. While Santa seems to be the one, um just being the one who ships out the toys, right? Because that's his, that's his ability, right? Um, they don't seem to be abused at all. Um, and if you at least take Elf as a possible source of, of lore, of accurate lore, then you can also argue that they have very nice houses for their size. Um, so it seems like, it seems like Santa's a, cap a, a communist. Um, now, if the supposed rumors are true, and he is, like, the elves are getting paid by, like, goodness coins or whatever, that might change things up, but I'm not sure. Or if he has, like, a special contract with toy companies, not sure. Um, have you seen the Trump campaign that helps people how to win an argument with liberal relatives? I have not seen that Trump campaign. Is it just, like, closing your ears and calling them fake news? Um... Hey Pixie, just curious, do you have a brother? I would love to get a taste of sweet, gooey saltiness. That, oh god, I'm not, I'm gonna fucking ignore that. That's disgusting. Can the Irish not get Santa drunk off his ass? <laughs> Maybe that's why, you know, Santa ran over, um, Grandma got run over by a reindeer. Maybe that's where it came from, you know? Santa just, like, stopped by in Ireland, got a little bit too drunk, and the poor grandma was a, was a slay and run accident. <laughs> Santa's a socialist, he gives poor kids free toys, and then when I was a kid, I got to meet the big guy, I just wish my dad was there to meet him. Oh, He seems to be an oligarch, a slumlord, and exploitative in his labor practices. I'm, 
One big thing in a vacuum, I don't care about 17 and 19 year old dating, but the age of majority is a real thing that needs to be respected. I agree, I envy clouds. That is a very reasonable take. Um, I, I'm i not sure about the, I'm not sure if he's a slumlord. There's nothing pointing to that, just saying. It turns out your father was Santa. Yeah, I was quite shocked. Kids don't understand what the fuck they are doing. True. I was a dumb kid. I still am a dumb kid. <laughs> I'm still, every day I amaze myself. I just learn new things and I'm like, wow. I cringe at me like literally two days ago. I'm like, oh my God, how was I like that? Um, so yeah. Kids, yeah. Um, I'm telling you, regardless if you're in the woods or not, the tree still makes a sound when it falls and you're arguing no because I wasn't there to hear it. I just argued no right now, okay? I, I literally have repeated this argument one million times. Sans is a capitalist. He gives better gifts to wealthy kids. Okay, okay. But what if I told you... Yeah, no, baby. You know, just because like, he's a communist doesn't mean he's a good guy, right? So perhaps Santa does live a communist way of lifestyle, um, but he's just a classist motherfucker, which I guess goes against communist ideals, but people could be contradictory all the time, right? So he could practice communism in his own commune, um, but towards others he can be like a, you know, like a filthy classist. I'm not sure. Um... At the same time, he's not making profit off of these toys, unless if you're going to make the argument that the rich kids are somehow paying Santa or the rich parents. So, there, there's something there. Um, I guess I can kind of agree uh, with that, but there also isn't a lot of mobility in those rigid cast days. What about elves that don't want to make toys? Well, as the elf movie explained, you can also be a baker. <laughs> That's the other alternative. That's true, though. That's that's true. There is a, you can argue that there's a cast a cast there. Um, the question is 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 Santa really the one running the show, right? I know he's portrayed as a boss because he delivers the toys, but again, it's it's hard it's hard to say for sure. It doesn't seem like he's what is it? It doesn't seem like he's making any muffet money. Muffet. <laughs> I said muffet. Why did I say muffet? It doesn't seem like he's getting any money out of it. Which I guess is just my biggest gripe, because a capitalistic system, like, kind of implies that there is dinero, that there is money, that there is, you know, some sort of profit to be made. And it doesn't seem like he's profiting this out of all, uh, uh, at all. Um, Santa, socialism is for Santa does his giving willingly. Am I allowed to post links here? If you ask for permission, ask him out for permission and you can post links. Would a capitalist give out presents for free? Exactly. Our modern incantation is decidedly capitalist, given almost all the visual imagery we describe as Satan and came out of Coca-Cola advertisements. Okay, but that's Coca-Cola. You can't, you know, if somebody took my image and decided to, like, plaster it, um, I don't know, everywhere with the color blue, and it's, like, now Pixie's, like, associated with the color blue, it doesn't mean that I'm actually blue, I guess. I, I, okay, that sounds, like, really weird. But what I'm trying to say is that Santa has existed a long time before, you know, the rendition of Coca-Cola. If you, he's not necessarily making any cut out of being on Coca-Cola, unless you guys can argue otherwise. Um, and I'm sure there's other, I make, I feel like I can't make this argument because I'm like, holy shit, I'm like low-key justifying narcissism symbol, symbolism now. But that's different because they use him constantly for genocide. They use um, the, the, the symbol constantly for genocide. Um, shit, fuck. I'm gonna just stop talking. Uh, <laughs> Santa Stalin confirmed co co comrade. Yeah, he has a. You know, the red imagery is pretty suspicious. Um, just saying. He's arguing that kids in it are rapists. I'm saying they aren't because children don't understand sex because their brains are underdeveloped and they will. Um, they were all close into age or some power dynamic. Um, I don't know about that because you can still have rape if it's if one kid forces themselves on the other even, even if they don't understand consent per se because it's still forced um yeah the advertisements did i just drop my holy shit i'm so lucky okay do you guys want to see what just happened <laughs> i am so freaking lucky ah okay that hurt 
my 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 honey mustard fell, but it fell flat. <laughs> I think it went very quickly, like upside down or something, but it fell flat, so it didn't spill onto the floor. Thank God. That would have been a freaking mess. That would have been quite quite messy. Okay. Um. Uh, no, it's okay. Here. Santa's a monarch and the elves are the serfs. Okay, that is a good interpretation. That I think I think we could work with that. You know, not exactly capitalist, but you can definitely make an argument that Santa is an evil monarch. Um, Hispanics have a normal Christmas dinner. Hispanic grandma is so healthy sex life. Thank God my grandma would never bring that up because I think she'd be horrified. Um... Dead is like grandfather and moros is like winter. What do you mean? I, I, what, what are you not kidding about? I got lost, literature. I'm not trying to be rude, but the way you talk and say, over say stuff sounds dumb. Even if you have something smart to say, saying words like, you know, I think. Oversized glasses, I've heard that multiple times. And what can I say? It's just the way I speak. I think it's kind of unfair that even, I think, mo mm, I'm trying to think about what to say. I think most guys, if they speak like me, they wouldn't be called dumb or they wouldn't be looked down upon most of the time i i i just enjoy speaking in general just normally normally with my chat or whatever and if somebody wants to judge me by the way i speak instead of what i speak that's on them um because this is this is just how i speak normally you know it's different if i'm trying to make a speech or something or i'm gonna act all professional but i'm not in a professional persona right now i'm just in a talky talky persona <laughs> Um, Pixie is blue, da ba di ba da da. He works one day a year, and what do you have? Only one type, only type, only needs to work one day a year. He doesn't give the gifts for free, he gives the gifts for others. Stolen dollar. Um, but what do you mean he doesn't give them for free? He's not making profit. Um, are you just saying he, he his profit or whatever is just the valor he gets? I'm suggesting to that Santa takes kickbacks. Um, the richer kids have better houses for Santa to visit and better cookies to eat. And do we have any proof of an election for him to be in charge? IDK, I think Santa might need the guillotine. Holy shit, are we gonna overthrow Santa in this chat? Is that what's gonna happen? Are we, uh, are we planning the, uh, is this a war on Christmas I hear people talk about? Is this what, is this what's happening? Are we, are we starting the war on Christmas? Um, what's the best thing you got for Xmas? I don't know. I find out tomorrow I'm really important. Um, so far I haven't gotten anything. I've gotten a lovely chat. Um, what have you gotten? I'm really important. Um, Santa Claus originated from the pagan traditions, true. Um, uh, case for early 1900s. Santa is not so good. I just never look up homes. Using shitty chair or fucking cubris of a young person that will destroy her back. It's not that bad. It's a pretty, it's gonna be pretty comfy. You know what? I'm fine. I you guys don't have to worry about my chair. <laughs> um. Yes, but he was calling the boys rapists even though they were younger than properly. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Um, I reject the monarch interpretation. That shit hits too close to home with the pixie monarchy and her chat serves being used for arguments. <laughs> Listen here, you little. I am just trying to do my best. I, this is a mutual relationship beneficial to both the parties, okay? Here I am being entertained by you guys, but I am also the clown. Hashtag pixie clown. I have an emote for it. Um, so maybe it's mutually beneficial or mutually destructive. Who knows? Um, but it is most definitely not a monarchy. I have practiced democracy in this channel, and look where it got us. It got us to watch a furry labor video, um, arguing for child labor. So, you know, maybe it isn't a perfect channel, maybe it isn't a perfect democracy, um, but it's definitely not a monarchy, it can sometimes be a dictatorship. <laughs> Pixie mods are awesome, I don't know why she modded me, I'm just here to look good. Yeah, I should, I thought you got VIP, I'm really important, I don't know. Yeah, I, <laughs> I think I was supposed to VIP you, and then I accidentally just modded you. Um, I hope you got VIP now. I hope it worked. If it didn't, I'll, I'll recheck. Merry Christmas, bibs. <laughs> Santa is a charitable oligarch. He uses wealth to pay workers, elves, and gives them a living to make toys for the greater good of the world. I like that. That's a very charitable interpretation. 
I like that one. Um, was not sure if it was Russian or some loose English translation. <laughs> See, there's clear example of professionalism. I told you. Talkie talkie pixie. I like talkie talkie. Talkie talkie boom ba. <laughs> yeah, talkie talkie boom ba. Um, thank you guys. I'm glad that you guys like talkie talkie pixie. In other words, forget what I said because my explanation. Oh, sorry, judge didn't know I couldn't do that. That's okay, Jimmy. You didn't know any better. Um, Santa is doing charity and socialism. Do you even know what socialism is? Um, okay, so I I know what socialism is in the sense that I'm a sock dem. I've read about dem socks. I've read about like, I guess like socialism theory, right? How it's supposed to be like a transition technically between capitalism and communism. But then you have like you know I guess Americans calling like countries in Europe kind of socialist. So I just, I think that an actual definition for socialism is kind of hard to paint because usually when somebody says socialism, like different people refer to different things. So I try to ask people first what they mean by socialism because some people will basically be like any, any social service is socialism, um, which I'm not sure if that's like completely accurate to other people. Overthrowing Santa is the best practice of starting a revolution. Keck W today, Santa, tomorrow it's the government. Hong Kong. A mutual beneficial monarchy, little Queen Pixie trying to justify her position of power. Are you guys going okay, so let me get this straight. Are you guys gonna gidgetine? Are you guys gonna like gidgetine Santa and start a Santa revolution? And then am I next? Is that is that what's happening here? Who who will usurp me? Like who will, will is Chad just gonna become like a dumb sec sort of society like somebody please um i i i just i just want to know um yeah but i'm really important for being a motherfucking nazi he is most definitely not a nazi he is a very great streamer you guys should all check out um, a choice come from the elves, not Santa. Maybe things would be more resolved if, if the elves got more credit, you know? Just saying. Um, what does VIP do? It just lets them post links and stuff. Um, and it's also something that's, like, usually given to, like, other streamers so people can, like, tell the streamers easier. Um, this is not a monarchy, but I am your supreme liber le uh, leader. I think that your democracy is trash. Oh, God, it has begun. I'm not gonna go full dictatorship mode on you guys, chill. Not yet, anyways. Maybe when I have more power. Um, I thought Santa was a crypto capitalist. Um, his partnership with Coca-Cola and the rebrand to a red suit must have amplified the consumption of consumer goods, therefore he must be taking a cut from every item purchased during Christmas. That's a good point. That's, that's very plausible. Um, but I don't know. I'm not sure if Santa would be the type of person to sue companies um, for for infringement, right? Or I don't know if infringement is the right terminology. For infringing his image. I'm just saying, you know? Like, th does that seem very Santa-ish to you, according to traditional folklore? Um, I'm skeptical. If, if Santa is a crypto capitalist, most definitely. But if, he, if he's not, if we take the the lenient interpretation of Santa, then I don't know if he'd be the type of person to even want to sue another company. I think he'd rather just put them on the naughty list. Um, socialism is community controlling production as a whole. Santa is giving away the stuff he makes, aka charity. Like, what the fuck are you even saying? Mind blown. Oversized glass, chill the fuck out. Um, what is it? chill dude i i'm i'm the reason why i ask people to define socialism before we start talking to them is because i've encountered various different definitions of socialism like that's it like i I've, I've seen people define it as something that i don't necessarily think of it as um i've seen people just like claim all these wild things to me like socialism just has a, basically a million definitions now maybe that's just a very like american centric point of view but that's that's I just do it to make sure. That's why I, I like when people say what they are, what their definitions are. Um, but would you say it's really just charity? It feels like more of a job, though, right? I feel like, you know, that's Santa's job. That's what Santa is known for. Unless we say, like, oh, charity can be a job, I guess. I'm not sure. Gijotine, lol. Gijot click the link and click the sound icon. Is it not pronounced Gijotine? 
Is it Gidja team? Let's okay. Let's hear it. Um, guillotine. It's guillotine. No way. I don't believe you guys for a second. No, that sounds so strange. Guillotine. Oh my god. Is that actually? I is somebody? I I don't know. I'm skeptical. That sounds so strange. I don't want to do it to anyone. Oh, Papa Bay, you're so sweet. Do knowing what rape is and knowingly committing it again. Um, same reason we don't punish minors for murders and we punish adults. Oh, is that at me or not? Um, have you ever watched yourself and seen you do the breath in breathe in thing? Lol, you are like an anime character. How what what's what do you mean by the breathe in thing? I'm not sure what you mean by that. I get into my streamer friends. You're always welcome to VIP me. <laughs> I'm a zero viewer streamer. Not being aware that we're only talking about her every time we say Santa because she's dressed up the part. I I didn't <laughs> do I do I have to get the big beer belly now? Do I have to go all the way? Go full Santa cosplay? Um, wait, are you all thinking about the imaginary Santa being used by corporations? Let's just focus on the character of the guy. Um um, you can teach him, sure, but not every child is going to understand full sex and gravity of what it is, which some kids end up being getting manipulated. Yeah, no, that's it's completely true, simple. Um, kids literally don't have a fully developed brain. They literally cannot understand. Does Santa Workshop have any established hierarchies? I don't think so. Not from what I know. The modern image of the Coke variant before, right, was a mean German who gave coal out and went by Krumpus. Krumpus just sounds like Santa's evil twin... Grumpus. I'm an admitted capitalist. I love Santa. Wow, Santa folklore is old. We have to evaluate him in the modern day. Okay, yes, but we also have to take into consideration his past history to make a full assessment of him, right? So we, we can't just say old Santa folklore. We also have to take into consideration new, but you can't only focus on new, okay? Like, if somebody's done a million acts of charity, uh, well, I don't know. Fuck. I feel like anything I say here can be totally taken out of context. Um, but yeah, we should evaluate the character as a whole, not just by its parts. That There's there's the argument that I'm going to be making. Um, well, French words in English. Guillotine. I fucking love it. I don't like it. I don't like guillotine. I like guillotine. Guillotine. Socialism has one definition. There are different forms of socialism. But all socialism falls under the dictionary definition of socialism is in which your Santa thing does not fall under. But I agree that most socialists are mind-numbingly dumb and have no idea about their own ideas. Um, fuck, there was something I was going to say. Um, fuck. Words are hard. Well, yeah, couldn't you argue that... Wait, are you arguing Santa's a socialist or not? I'm confused. I, I please, please clarify your position. Um, some, uh, please clarify your position first. Um, oversized glasses. Are you arguing Santa's socialist or not? Um, oh my question. Mary fuck kills Santa Easter Bunny Tooth Fairy. Um, that's very hard. Okay, I think I would kill the Easter Bunny, marry the Tooth Fairy. Oh or fuck the tooth fairy and marry santa i'll be mrs claus um i will not <laughs> explain or defend my choices fuck off chat <laughs> do we have a furry in, in chat any program that contradicts the very idea of capitalism is technically socialism modern day universal healthcare welfare social housing all originated from marx um kid chain different than entire argument um to the dynamics are standard, not mine. Du, 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 du. Don't at me again. I'm lying to you. What? Okay, Santa's libertarian. That's a hot take. Where did Santa's libertarian come from? Where, where is this explanation we need? Um, what is this post history? I'm going to argue with you regardless, but I like you. <laughs> um, listen, I'm just saying, in traditional folk folklore or whatever, Santa doesn't seem to be abusing his elves. It seems to be, you know, community-based. Um, it seems like everybody's pitching in. He, he seems to be, like, giving these gifts out for free without any profit. Just saying. There, there are things to keep in mind in the origins of Santa. It gives coal to bad kids' lies. 
And he had tons of bad kids that got banged from Santa. Santa gives nothing that was his. Um, yeah, no, that's true. There are still bad kids that get toys and not coal. That's why, you know, I, I think that there is an argument that Santa is discriminatory towards classes, um, even if he does live in a communal society. Um, why are Pixie's lips always bleeding? No one told her about chapstick yet. <laughs> you don't have to call me out on that. It's because I pick my lips a lot when I'm nervous. Um, just do that. Have a great new year too, Squinchin. Pixie's above the realm of chapstick. She serves in sushi, she survives in humidity. I just can't help it. It's like a tick. I, not, not like a, not like a tick tick. Just, you know, something I do when I'm nervous. So when I'm watching like a movie or... When I'm, like, stressed, I, I pick at them. Um, guy, why don't you help her directly by donating cash? <laughs> help me buy some new chapstick, please. Um, it's okay, simple. It's, you just gotta think about clickbaity titles sometimes. Santa is not a socialist. Socialism community coming together um, to own factors of production equally. He literally makes his own toys and gives them out to others as charity. If anything, Santa's slave labor capitalist that does charity. Okay, wait, whoa, 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 wait. I would argue that that is a community coming together, right? It's the elves and him and the reindeer all working together. You can argue that it appears that Santa is hierarchical in nature, but is he really? It doesn't seem like he is forcing his elves. He just seems to be like the delivery person for the gifts. Um, now, just because Coca-Cola and other corporations have taken him and have created him into a capitalist symbol does not mean that in practice he is necessarily. It means just that his image has been distorted. Um, yeah. No, to each according to their whatever needs, to each according to their ability, or whatever. I can't, I don't, I don't remember the exact quote. So if I donate a million dollars to charity, does that give me permission to be an orphan to death? I'm sorry, Santa has been running this new system. He's made his bed, now he has to sleep in it. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not saying that, listen, there's a reason why people have no prior convictions or whatever, or have a very clean record, tend to get lighter sentences um, than those who commit actions that are incredulous like multiple times. So what I'm trying to say, if Santa is an entity that existed for hundreds of years, it is very unfair to take these, you know, most recent 100 and ignore the other 600, you know? I'm not saying that to completely, I guess, forgive Santa if he, if modern folklore does rule him as greedy, but we cannot simply ignore all his past actions. Perhaps Santa is a victim of mental illness, and that's why he has changed. Um, perhaps he has just been corrupted by greed and, you know, that's, that's just fucked up. And then, yeah, he can serve a fuller punishment. But the point is, we don't have the facts here. And you can't just make assumptions that Santa suddenly came from, like, this, you know, St. Nicholas good guy to evil corporate greed. <laughs> that's Santa dad bod, low-key sexy, though. Santa's libertarian, he isn't state tax sponsor, he is community charity ran. I mean, there's an, I, I, that's an interesting argument. <laughs> I am not, I'm not sure what to say. Um, I'm not sure if you would even say that it, it seems like this is a job for Santa, though, right? It doesn't seem like he can just decide one year, like, I don't want to give gifts. Like, this is expected from him. Um, any and all donations charity should use a donation like before that Pixie is generally provided. It's connected to every charity worldwide fact. That's not true. Um, but thank you. Santa's totalitarian. Maybe. I don't mind giving. I love Santa. I don't like taking. He exploits the labor of the elves. Why don't the elves just leave then if they don't like it? Um, Santa's libertarian. That's true. Strong industrialist doing charity and doesn't pay taxes. He, uh, Santa used to give it away for free, but he got bought out by the Koch brothers, just like Ben Shapiro. Do you think the Koch brothers would ever want somebody to give away their gifts for free? Like, I, I just don't understand. Or you, I'm so, I guess, confused by the kickback argument. Like, let's say Santa is getting money from being in Coca-Cola advertisements. That doesn't stop the fact that he's giving away toys. Can I say Merry Xmas or is this strictly Happy Holiday stream? JK, hope you and everyone is feeling seasonal cheer, joy, and love right now. Thank you, Acoustic Scarab. Hope you're having a good holiday as well. The Alice has negotiated a labor contract that takes care of their needs in exchange for spreading happiness to children. 
I like that take. That's a good take, Pulp. Keep, keep the good takes coming, okay? That, those, that's a good take. I pick up lips a lot, too, and don't use chapstick. So, and so I still like you. You're awesome. Thank you. Dude, she's just as... Oh. Um, what about Santa watching everyone with his surveillance state? Okay, I think that's a, <laughs> that's the best authoritarian argument, um, I guess, so far. <laughs> um... I don't think I have a rattle for that. You know, Santa's an authoritarian communist, perhaps. Uh, that that you're very right that he is surveillancing everyone and, and spreading judgment, it seems, um, by himself. It doesn't seem like there's a democratic system to judge who's on the naughty or nice list. Um we can argue that's an automatic point system and that it just gets added automatically to the list. Perhaps Santa does not even control it. Um but who knows? Why do you keep calling them his elves? Sick. Now, do you admit that he owns them? Okay, if I... Mm, okay, um... I, you know what? Bad on me. Bad phrasing. Um, uh, how do I donate to Pixie's dad? Why do I donate to my dad? The elves did not get to keep profit from the toys they make, they have to give them all to Santa. There is no socialism. It is either serve them if you get some type of freedom or it's here slavery. Please shut the fuck up. You're killing my brain. I don't know if you're saying like the last arguments is a joke or not because I'm not sure if those are serious. Um, but here, there's something I was going to say. Yeah, the elves do not take to, pre to keep profit from the toys they make. Um, Santa doesn't make any profit, though, and it doesn't seem like he's forcing them. You're right that it can perhaps be served them, but from all Santa lore that we have and all Santa movies that we have seen so much, um, it seems like they are working together to build these toys and can negotiate contracts with, with Santa, right? It doesn't seem like Santa has any power, really, or force where he can just, like, force the elves to do things, right? When you're a serf or whatever, you literally have a king who can enforce his small little military or, like, knights or whatever to go after you, um, and that's how they keep their power. It doesn't seem like Sansa has any sort of structure like that in his state, or in the state in general. Um, it doesn't even seem to be a state. It seems to be communal living. What do you think of these socialism when the means of production distribution is controlled by the community? State socialism when the community controls the means through the government and libertarian socialism is when the community itself is in charge. Also, Santa's a capitalist, which is true. And the elves are not wage slaves. Santa feeds them, clothes them, and houses them in a very difficult environment. The North Pole. Yeah, maybe it's just maybe it's just beloved um, surf then. I'm not sure. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm trying, I'm rereading your sentence. I, I, I guess I feel like they're kind of really similar, if not the same. Controls the means through the government and when the community itself in charge. I guess it's your definition of government, right? Because a lot of people, when they think about, like, I, I don't know, I, I would argue that even community organization to a certain extent is a type of government. Um, one of three wise men had stopped in your chat. This one carrying mirror. Our savior is born 2,000 years ago on this day, and our souls are forever changed. Places to ten chats to keep the Christ in Christmas. Very funny. The original Santa was a patron saint of hookers, children, sailors. It seems more like a libertarian protecting freedom to do whatever they want to sell your labor. Um, interesting take. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't know if that's true. Show me Santa's tax return, and I would answer you this title question. Oh, uh, you guys really hating on Santa probably because you all had very bad childhoods. They all got cold. Um, that explains the cool post and six post six packs of coke I got. The Warren Thanksgiving is a fucking turkey trying to knock down my door next month. Why? Why? Why don't they just leave? How he has a monopoly on transportation? Why don't the elves just freeze in the Arctic? Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's a really good argument. <laughs> I want to reference back to Elf, but I'm cheating. I feel like I'm just cheating because I'm using this movie as, like, actual lore, and we don't know if it's true or not. Um, but to be fair, the elves could theoretically, like, hijack the reindeer, right? I mean, who says Santa's the only one who knows how to fly reindeer? Um... <laughs> 
We're insulting Santa now. I'm sick. He gives. I love giving. The picking is where you lose me. Um, screw these softball questions and takes a real question. Is Santa gay? Well, doesn't he have missed claws? <laughs> question mark. Um, just got here, but has anyone brought up alarming rise of reindeer <laughs> reindeer crimes? Did we consider the North Pole? Does it have any feasible landmass? And Santa operates out of North Atlantis. <laughs> Slave labor, blacklisting, and animal cruelty. Yeah, imagine being the reindeer to carry its bad ass around the globe. <laughs> Listen, reindeer are very powerful, mystic creatures that can fly across the sky. Like, you know, and according to Rudolph the rain, Red Nosed Reindeer, it's not like they were forced in the stable. They had the ability to walk around and stuff. Um, I guess live their life. I mean, do you, do you think people owning horses is hum inhumane? Is that where we're going with this argument? Um, he's giving away toys to help sell coke. It's a mutually beneficial relationship. <laughs> he's been bought out. That's why the rich kids get better. They have more money to buy coke. Fuck. I'm sorry, Santa movie. Fucking hate the Alan playing Santa. He's been bought out. Okay. That's plausible. That is plausible. I I I don't know if I want to say you're hundred percent right, I envy clouds, but that that's an interesting angle to come at it from. Um that would explain the wealth disparity um between rich kids and poor kids in terms of gift giving, right? You're literally unintentionally trolling every time you open your mouth. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? Okay, I hate to say it, but that's a gross misunderstanding of serfdom. Are you sure? I, 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 I read about serfdom. I'm pretty sure I'm right about it. But isn't the whole point of serfdom is that you give to your king for protection? But even if you didn't give to your king, you'd be kind of fucked because they literally had um, what is it? They they literally had like knights and stuff to protect their shit or to go fetch it from you. Not to mention um, fuck what I was gonna say. I know after, supposedly, after a certain amount of time, you'd be able to, like, own your land or whatever, but that was never really the case, because you'd always be perpetually in debt. Um, so I said a very simplified version of it, but if you want to correct me, go ahead. I, I'm open to learn new things. Um, Santa volunteers like Trump takes no salary. He's doing it for the power trip. True. Um... Where else can the elves go? Santa's factory is the only factory in the North Pole and it's only work available for the elves. Santa controls a monopoly in the North Pole and there's no other alternative to the elves to work. It's either get exploited by Santa or freeze in the North Pole. You guys are making really good Santa's uh, a capitalist pig arguments. Good night, Libertura. Sleep well. Um, thank you for the compliment. Okay, let me put Christmas music. I should have said state, not government. Fair. Um, here. Give me a second. Let me put the Christmas music gotta hear my Christmas tunes. Punk Goes Christmas. I hope this isn't screaming. I hate when people scream in songs. I'm the only one who thinks working hard and getting money is cool. I know I'm not getting, going to get killed for this, but who cares what other people make as long as you got a chance to progress? I mean, the question is, do the elves really have a chance to progress? Um, the American Dad episode summed up the real Santa Claus. Um, thank you, IMB Clouds, for a thousand bits. It is much appreciated. You are a madman. You have already given me a lot this season. You don't, you don't have to give any more, but I really appreciate it. You are quite kind. Um, yeah. Had a war on Thanksgiving and wanting to change that. Um, I did not hear about Trump having a war on Thanksgiving. Reindeer being mystic creatures, lol, should have just used giraffes to get around the world better. Giraffes can't fly. I'm sorry, in chattel slavery in America, the slave owners would house and feed their slaves and how you keep your labor. I don't think the elves came from the north as well as most folklore elves talk, but it's but his are short, he's underfeeding them so they don't develop properly. That's a really fucking- Ah, they're screaming. Nope, nope, I can't do the screaming. Um, it freaks me out. You guys are making really fucking good arguments against this. I don't, I'm, I'm trying so hard to take a Santa's actually a commie stance, but you guys are, are really doing a good job changing my mind. Um, I don't know. What if, what if, right, 
that's that's just I I don't know. Maybe elves are just naturally that way. You know, maybe they're just naturally just born shorter. I think it's quite the leap to say that he's underfeeding them. I mean, we have short people already, short humans. We have people um, born with dwarfism. Is it such a is it such a stretch to believe that maybe this is some sort of just genetic things that elf ca elves carry onto one another? Um. I'm still trying to figure out if Rudolph represents a 1% since he's the only one who had a red nose and eventually gets special treatment, or if he represents the oppressed and the eventual rise of the proletariat. I think he represents the eventual rise of the proletariat. I mean, like, let's... He, he was marginalized from a young age, right? Um, or, to be fair, I don't even think that's a fair representation of him. I think it's a... What is it? A, perhaps you can argue that it's a capitalist fairy tale, right? Um, that one day... If you just try hard enough, your work will be noticed and you'll be able to move up the ladder. Well, we know in reality that isn't the case for many people. Um, so perhaps Rudolph is just, you know, just a, a capitalist tale to keep the to keep the proletariat complacent and give them false hope. North Pole is like North Korea, funded by powerful governments, has a strict immobile caste and watches everyone. If you escape three generations of manga. Only a handful of fat North Pole um, cats make more than enough to not starve and in the middle of an ice block. Listen, from all the Santa media I have consumed, it seems like they have nice housing and they, you know, don't have to worry about food starvation and seem like they enjoy their jobs. How do we know that? that like, again, I know you guys make the argument that Santa has a monopoly on transportation, but there is no lore and there's nothing stating that elves can't simply hop on the on the sleigh and, and go off, right? Or escape through one of Sansa's bags to freedom. Um, so it's all things. It's communist for the serf, capitalist for the government in between internationally. Um, <laughs> the reindeer story is kind of messed up though. He only has value after getting run nose. Before he was just bullied for being different. Um, Pixie has the cutest little gap between her front teeth. I wish she were a piece of organic spinach stuck to that gap. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, good night, simple, sleep well. <laughs> Only a reindeer can fly. Thank you. Um, Santa's an old white male. Is Santa a, represent a representation of the patriarchy? That's a real question. Um, who the fuck are you going to assume giraffes can't fly? That's some neckest shit. North Koreans are four inches shorter than South Koreans by average. Look, with the insane amount of power and abilities he has, and as capitalized as Christmas has been made, he would have shut ish down real quick. He isn't a real comrade and wouldn't like the affiliation of his revolutionary work with that label. Or maybe he's fighting back and that's why his toys are free. I mean, yeah. I I think that I think in these dark times, especially where some people, you know, can barely afford anything. Santa giving gifts, even if they're discriminatory up to a certain extent, is still a sign of hope, and it is a sign of rebellion, perhaps. Now, IMV might be right that Santa might be getting kickbacks from Coca-Cola and other companies, and that's how he can afford the free gifts. Um, however, I am just not convinced that there's enough proof to make the statement. It, I think it's still highly contentious. I think we might have to end stream tonight without a, a, a clear definition of whether Sans is a commie or capitalist. Although you guys have made very good arguments against this. Um, and Sans is owned by the American Chinese commie conservative government. Christmas and Christmas is the oil and fuel Santa's horrifying brandy and hell hole on ice. We also have tiny North Koreans are underfed compared to South Koreans. Guess we have to do more research on why Santa helpers are short. Well, you, maybe they're just aff affiliated with a rare thing of dwarfism. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, Santa's a man. I don't like questioning him. Are you being an authoritarian bootlicker right now, Popovet? Reindeers are the opiate of the masses. <laughs> Santa has a major mono Perhaps they are, Tony. Perhaps they are. Reindeer stories. It's it's a different type of circus. Um, Santa has a major monopoly in the whole Christmas thing, so kind of an extreme capitalist considering there isn't any charity. Um, what well, fuck? I got lost again. Oh, has an insane monopoly. Uh, 
fuck, where am I? I got lost. But oh, considering that there isn't any charity from that scale during that time of year. Well, there's charities that collect toys and give them to kids. D don't you think that counts? North Koreans are shorter because of the malnutrition. It's the reason they can't integrate into China or South Korea generally. And they're identified to be discriminated usually. Yikes. There are 2.2 billion children in the world. How long do they have to work to make that many toys? Fuck. Now I have to research factory production. Also, it doesn't help that perhaps elves are, you know, just more skilled labor or, like, more skilled than the average human being. Or who's to say, again, as I pointed out before, who's to say that technological advancements haven't made the elves' lives completely or much more easier? Who's to say that toy production is the only thing that, that's, like, labor-intensive? Perhaps all they have to do is supervise um, toy production from already existing machinery. You know, is that such a horrible job? Is that, is that really an exploitative job? Is that really exploitative labor? I'm not sure. I'm not sure I buy that. Um, maybe not four inches, but at least two inches and a lot of weight too real now. I donate gifts, I get none for Christmas, so it's not make Santa bad. Um, how does Santa boot taste? I'm not licking his boot. I am just giving potential counter examples of him, okay? <laughs> the North Pole is obviously an anarcho-syndicalist commune. The fat old pedo guy should be irrelevant in Christmas. Baby Jesus is the king and nobody remembers baby Jesus. Um, baby Jesus. <laughs> is Santa a white man or is fresh off the boat right here and Santa is a Chinese woman? Um, that was, that was a fun episode. If you guys don't know, um, fresh off the boat, spoilers, whatever, the mom dresses up as Santa, but claims that she's a boss Santa, because, you know, all the Santas are white, but they actually just work for the boss Santa. Um, Americans need to move forward communism system and be more like China. China is very hardworking. Are you, are you a troll or not? Um, everyone should be making the same salary. We are more equal, are we not? Um, uh, <laughs> okay. Santa does take milk and cookies. Is that a requirement? If so, those free gifts aren't free per se. Who's to say that Santa eats all milk and cookies, you know? It's never mandatory. There's no sign that says you must leave milk and cookies, otherwise you won't get presents. Um... Why is Vixie even awake? I thought she spent more time hibernating in winter. Believe it or not, I can be awake once in a while. Mm. I hibernate during the day. Um, so the left has to submit to false equivalencies to right wing evangelicals. No, I I don't I don't agree with those. Um, I am upcoming Mike for Christmas. How to become a successful? I'm not even I'm. I, I, I don't consider myself successful. I consider, you know, like, Hassan or Justin successful, where they have, like, a thousand views and stuff. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm still climbing. Um, but if you want help with getting viewers, just put clickbaity titles and hope, and hope for the best. Long story short. Um, watching streamers on Christmas night is depressing as fuck. Um... I hope I'm not depressing you that much. I'm I'm happy. I have my tendies and I have my my mint choco, and I like talking to you guys. And I hope I'm bringing a little bit of joy. Um, I hope. Yeah, I don't know. Um, clickbait is a legal false advertisement. Enjoy it while you can. Am I gonna get sued by Twitch? Is, is somebody gonna sue me? <laughs> Just, you know, fem cells for incels. How dare I not give my fem cell body to the incels? Am I fucked now? Pixie's getting a degree from PragerU. Is, yeah, is that is that what's gonna happen? Am I, I, I think that'd be a nightmare. I think I would literally have a nightmare about PragerU. I've had really weird nightmares before. I wouldn't be surprised if PragerU becomes one of them. Oh, <laughs> I love school. And yeah, there you go, me attendees, Rajwan. Um, do, 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 do. Also, Santa lives in Northern Finland, so that makes me an expert. No kappa. If he lives in Northern Finland, I feel like that is a very different argument than he lives in North Pole. Um, oh, I enjoyed talking to you. My grandfather died yesterday, so the stream has really brought me up. Thank you. I'm glad the stream has brought you up. I, I, that... That honest, like, okay, I don't want to make it about me or whatever, but that makes me happy as well. Like, I, 
I don't know. I you guys know like I suffer from depression and stuff or whatever. So just like talking to you guys and like you know knowing that I can bring a little bit joy and that you guys bring joy to me. It's it's. I think it's a good relationship. I think it. I I, I enjoy it. I enjoy you know, having you guys just be silly on this chat and make me smile and laugh. And I hope that I somehow do that for you guys. So that mean that comment means a lot to me. I envy clouds. Um, I'm not the best guy giving on Christmas gives me joy. I never lectured on it until I listened to you guys. I'm the asshole capitalist. I do soup kitchens and give all the toys I can. How many of you have done nothing but complain? Be better than me. LOL. Um, I, I don't know. I I just... Well, there's someone who's going to say... It's a fun conversation topic, okay, Papa Bet? When I told my dad I was going to be talking about this, he got mad. He was like, that's a bad conversation. And I'm like, why? It's fun to to theorize about whether Santa's a filthy commie or cappy. Eats a flesh of beast. Oh, thanks for streaming. Thank you. Pixie eats a flesh of beast and doesn't even feel bad about it. We can learn much from her. Yeah, I'm also starting my own cult. Um... So you can also learn that from me, and I'm also literally an, an incarnation of Satan, just one of the incarnations. There's like seven out there. Um, so there's much, there's much to learn in the in this little commune. I definitely wasn't having the best day. Your asshole giving the spirit is welcome here. A link below. <laughs> the NBA is a monopoly that holds the television networks hostage. Um, I don't know how I feel about that one, but thank you. <laughs> but why did I say thank you to the NBA being held hostage? Um, oh, but thank you for the interesting comment. Um, call monarchy queen pixie. The pope desires blood tips. I I am a pope. You know, I am both Satan and a pope. I am everything. I I literally the honestly I, I might as well just be God by now. I feel like that's blasphemy, and now I feel like if I ever like actually die and there is a God, I'd be going to hell. Um, but too late. I said it. I'm dead. Um, if your dad is the best, have you gotten him on stream yet? I have not. I, I think he's appeared once on stream. Um, our dad is an interesting person, as you have heard me talk about. I'm really important. I definitely want you and Foreign News to have a conversation with him about impeachment. That'll, that'll be a very interesting experience. Um, he is quite the thing. <laughs> he always tries to argue with me. <laughs> Um, it's good. Hard defending my capitalism. I do good, though. There's no relationship between subscribers and streamers. Only incels are some, some kind of relationship there. Well, there's not a relationship in the sense of, like, dating or whatever. Like, I feel like that, like, definitely, like, uh-uh. Um, but there, I, I don't know. Maybe it's because I still feel small or whatever. I think that there is, like, I, I don't know how to explain it. Um... I, I don't know how to explain it. It's like it's like supporting my content, and then I also want to like support you guys. That sounds really fucking corny. Oh, ew, gross, gross. Ugh, ugh. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, I wouldn't like. Obviously, like I spend ridiculous amounts every day talking to you guys, <laughs> so I wouldn't say that I like don't care for anybody here because that would be just false. Like if I didn't care, then I wouldn't want to stream. Um, sometimes when you respond to comments, your voice totally changes, almost like you have a split personality, or you just like to do voices. I actually have a split personality. No, I, I do like doing voices, especially when I read, um, goofy comments and stuff. I, I just enjoy making fun of them sometimes. Um, yeah. You're too goofy to start a cult. Well, my, I'm just saying... My Discord has the title Pixie's Cult on it. So that's the first step. That already counts, okay? We can get to the, all the other weird stuff later, like weird rituals and sacrificing stuff um, another time. But for now, for, for now, we're just in the beginning stages, you know? Um, <laughs> Pixie has a chad for a dad. I did, that makes me very uncomfortable. That's a very uncomfortable statement. Um, Santa is most definitely a socialist at the very least. He was all about giving free food and gifts to super poor children. Yeah, that's what I try to argue. Definitely at the beginning, like, beginning folklore, just him helping others. You know, maybe he became a shell, a shell later on, but for now, for now he isn't. Or, uh, uh, or at least before he isn't. Um, my cat's noise hella loud. I'm super allergic to cats. I can't touch them. <laughs> I'll sneeze to death. 
Oh my god, blood. I'm going to stop using big words on your stream. We need a Hooked on Phoenix stream. What's a Is Hooked on Phoenix uh, the band you sent me? No, it isn't. Well, I don't know what you mean by Hooked on Phoenix. Um, can modern Christianity exist without molesting children? Um, <laughs> probably, but that was a good burn. Um, definitely don't like organized religion. Debating Pixies down on impeachment. I'm telling you, that's going to be great content. Christ, I said Phoenix. Hooks on phonics. Well, I'm so confused. What what does hooked on phonics mean? I don't know what that means. I love uh, Pixie. Love stopping by from time to time. Hear your commentary and content. Keep it up. Merry Christmas. Good night, Abba. Have a Merry Christmas, too. Um, Pixie's always persecuting her dad for his beliefs. I feel so bad for my dad, honestly. When my brother came back and became a liberal, my dad had nobody in the household who agreed with him. I felt kind of bad for him. Because it used to be me against my dad and then kind of against my brother. And then my brother came back from college a Bernie supporter. And my dad just had nobody. <laughs> I was like, poor dad, poor papi. He has nobody who agrees with him now. <laughs> We're both fighting against him now. Um... I think we should get to the weird rituals sooner than not. Maybe. I still have to think about them. Um, I, I don't know what would be a good ritual we can do. Um, I, I like to think that we do, like, peaceful rituals in a sense, right? Like, recycling the water bottles that I use that are plastic that are super bad for the environment. I should stop using. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, we, we'll, we can figure that out. If you guys have any suggestions, I'm open to hear them. Um, yes, but Santa gives free stuff to people on the back of Elvis Sleep Weaver. That's not socialism. Okay, I think, I think the closest consensus I've gotten here, the closest thing I've agreed with is, Adam, like, Santa's the modern day surf. Um, if you think about it, had he gotten, had he gotten an old Pablo Escobar, would have definitely become a Colombian Santa. Perhaps. I don't think he'd have the ability to give a bunch of free gifts, though. Um, easily. Good band, though. Hooked on Phoenix is a program that teaches people how to read. A phonics, not Phoenix. I keep reading Phoenix. That's an interesting, that's an interesting program I never heard about before. Um, I remember, I learned how to read, right, like, in kindergarten or something, and then I forgot how to read, actually, for a year, so in first grade, they had to put me in special classes so I could learn how to read again, and then after that, it was, like, a rocket ship, right? After that, I just kept, like, you know, since, since they put me in that special class, like, and I relearned how to read, I just kept reading, like, faster and faster and faster and faster and, like, better and better and better. Um, so I'm not, like, a speed reader or anything. It's not like I can read, like, 200 words per minute or something crazy like that. But compared to, like, a lot of other people, at least in my class growing up, I would always be the first one to, like, finish the book or finish whatever because um, of those classes. I don't know why I just went on a on a conversation about how I forgot to read for a year when I was a child. Um, hooked on, uh, da, 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 hooked on Phoenix is a show where black man teaches white kids how to read. That's cute. Phonics is not Phoenix, right? Ultimately, it's not communism or socialism if the elves have no say in how to produce, where to produce, and what's the surplus. True, perhaps. Yeah, I guess. Um, but I feel like they also, they know what they're producing, right, in a sense. They, they can organize strikes and basically fuck over Santa in Christmas production for the year. Um, Santa doesn't seem to have any sort of force to force the elves to complete said tasks. Um, my, I think my favorite movie, Christmas movie, might be, um, might be an elf, I'm not sure, or Home Alone. We need sock them rituals. We should eat the homeless. <laughs> I don't think so. Perhaps to have a mighty taste of the rich once in a while. Um, Pixie's going to open a school for children that don't read good. Um, <laughs> you mean don't read well? I I don't think I could. Um, I, I barely can speak English or Spanish. I can barely speak, period. I keep fucking up my words. Um, it was so wholesome. My favorite Christmas movie is Hooked in Fe Phonics. I keep saying Phoenix instead of Phonics. I went nice. Those Scottish Don colleges recruiting the Democratic Party. That's how my dad feels. He's like, the liberalism is a disease. Um, please don't become a progressive. I'm not, 
the, I'm the necessary evil. I love Santa and hunting. Need some view from the outside. You're, you're our, you're our, how do you call it? Contesting point of view. I appreciate it. It hurt itself in its confusion. Uh, have I contradicted myself? Perhaps, maybe. May y'all be the gay this Christmas day. Thank you. Oh, I'm gonna say thank you to that. Thank you. We can literally see you read chat. Definitely not a special reader. <laughs> Definitely not a speed reader. Yeah, no, I'm not. I Well, but I also take my dear time reading, right? Now I'm reading. I'm, how do you call it? Talking to you guys. And I'm also reading your comments out loud before I read them, right? Like, I'm not, like, reading them just here. I'm, like, reading them out loud, which is always slower than reading in your mind. What do you think about Imagine if there's a really maybe if you don't do that or you can possibly go to? Sorry, I was just seeing if you read all this. Yes, I did read all that. Um, Santa's workshop is a sweatshop like sweets that Alvin Minority still work in it, so technically it's an egg cap and bus. You don't like Arthur's Christmas? I don't think I've ever seen Arthur's Christmas. I always finish reading books first because I didn't do it in the first place or read summaries. Keck. <laughs> Has no force. Meanwhile, they starve in the Arctic cold without Santa. Again, nobody says that they can't take the sleigh. Nobody says that sleigh only Santa can ride it. There is no lore. No commentary on that, okay? It seems that if the elves wanted to, they would be able to take the sleigh with no repercussions. Um, I heard in self confusion was about you, that us forgetting how to read for a year. Yeah, basically, <laughs> long story short. Who does your dad want to win in 2020? I honestly don't know. I think he wants Trump because he thinks everybody else is cuckoo. Um, but I don't know. I really, I should ask him again. Aren't elves the oppressed majority in the North Pole? It doesn't seem like they are, though. They could always leave through his sleigh. Don't feel bad, Pixie. Forgetting how to read is totally normal. That doesn't sound normal. How many months a year are the elves even working? If we're getting upset at socialism, they get none of the fruits of their labor, and it's all given away. They get, they get fruits of labor through housing, okay? Which I guess kind of makes them serfs. Mm. It's certainly not normal. Well, I was a strange child growing up. I was legitimately a strange child. Um, let's see what else. It's okay because once I caught up, I got better. Um, than other people, whatever. So smart. Um, not really. Um, but yeah, I was, I was a strange child. Okay, guys. It is, what time is it? It is 3.12 a.m. I am a little bit tired. I have streamed for four hours. Strange child's implication that you're suddenly now normal. I have points of contention. You are rude. No, but true. I don't know. I have some people, some of my friends sometimes are like, you know, you're a little bit odd. And I'm like, no, I'm not. And they're like, you kind of are. Um, so I don't know how to deal with that. Um, but it happens. <laughs> it's a thing. Um, Ford vs. Ferrari is a great movie about capitalism and how it always wins. It's a capitalist fairy tale then. Um, I, I don't know. I want to see that movie and I want to see Knives Out as well. The elves should overthrow Santa and give the sleigh and reindeer to Bernie Sanders and Miss Claus could do whatever the hell Miss Claus wants to do. Yeah, what if, what if we've been looking at this the wrong way? What if Miss Claus is actually, you know, what if she's actually the dictator, right? are actually the one, um, actually the one running shit, right? We have Santa who has a job. He's still doing labor. We have the elves who do labor. But what does Mrs. Claus do? What is Mrs. Claus in charge of? You know, that's a little bit suspicious. And, and that she seems to be doing nothing while everybody else is working. <laughs> Bunging train wrestles, right? Shamelessness. You kind of resemble Battle of Thorn. Thank you, Johannes. Just you're the I think you're the second person today who said something like that. Um, I think it's it's you know, I'll take the compliment. Um yeah, I just I think it's quite odd. It's a, a, a quite an odd thing. Okay. Um She's probably still complaining about the wage gap. What she doesn't work though. She, she doesn't have to complain. Um, well, that's the thing. She doesn't work. Um, but I wonder if she's running things behind the scenes, you know? Just, just saying. 
I just realized that if you really think about it, since the streamers have to collect subs in the dozens or even hundreds, it means streamers are the ultimate professional doms, and I'm 100% here for it. Um, I don't know if I consider myself a dom. <laughs> that is a strange, strange phrasing. Um, <laughs> to make your arguments chat because he doesn't get tired unless she runs out of reading material. Kind of. I do get tired, but I always have to have the last word. My parents say that. That's a very bad quality for me. I always have to, <laughs> I always have to be the one who finishes it. I always have to be the last argument or... <laughs> Many people focus on the elves working in the factories making the toys, but where does the coal for bad kids come from? What if the rest of the year the elves are slaving away in coal mines before they do their back-breaking labor in the factory? That would be exploitative as fuck. Damn. Okay. <laughs> that caught. That one caught me. That one is a. Uh, that's a thing. Oh my. <laughs> Anyone else has fun? Oh my, I just can't get over that. That was a good fucking, you're right. That, that I, I'm think that you're right. I, I see no other possible way for them, for, for Sansa to, to get coal other than that. So that is a really good argument for elf exploitation. And for Santa being a dirty environmentalist, like, how do you call it, anti-environmentalist, right? He's producing a thing that's killing our planet. That's fucked. And he also to have fond memories of leaving the glass and bourbon and cigarette for Santa. And the excitement of finding that empty glass and smoked butt the next morning. Merry Xmas all. Merry Christmas, let us play. I think in 2019, 2020, that's a food quality for you. Plus, you have the heart to back up the last word. I, 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 I'm glad that you think it's a good quality in me. My parents definitely don't think that. My parents tried giving me coal one year to teach me a lesson, but it was rock hard candy and ate it that night. Lesson dodged. Um, I remember my brother once asked for coal one year. Um, he said that he wanted it so he could do barbecue. That's why I feel like Santa should move away from giving coal and reintroduce bringing the Krampus into the United States. True, I, I feel that. Or we should we should replace coal with something else, right? Just something useful, like, I guess, kind of useless for people. Somebody made a good argument earlier that coal keeps people warm, technically. Like, so he technically even still gives a good gift towards um, bad-behaving kids. It's not, I guess, the best gift. So we'd probably have to find, like, a modern-day replacement for that. I don't know what it would be. I, I can't think of anything right now. Um, the U.S. already had grandpas sitting in the White House. Um, I gotta say, it was interesting talking to the capitalist virtue of Santa before bed. I can't believe we got into environmentalism now also. Well, that's all my life, you know? We just jump from one topic to the next. <laughs> we just we just find a way to do this. Um, oil is a modern-day replacement for coal. But we should pick something that doesn't harm the environment, you know? Something a little bit more environmentally friendly. You should give them bad kids wheat. I'd be down for that. I think that's a that's a, that's a pretty decent idea. I you know, it's it's kind of useless. Um but I feel um, I'm not sure, I guess. The Krampus would take the bad kids for the Christmas whoopings. I approve of where they're cold. Better for the environment. They should not, I, I'm not for child abuse either. Well, think about it environmentally. There is a ton of history in the North Pole, but suddenly there's no land there. Sounds like coal use and global warming melted the working area. True. Maybe, maybe there were more habitable living conditions before, you know, human greed took over. Um, <laughs> Pixie's dad is rethinking funding her education now that she came back from school a communist. He doesn't think I'm a commie. He thinks I'm a fascist. I'm like, I don't think that we should have echo chambers um, that promote violence. And he's like, you're a little fascist. And I'm like, thanks, dad. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> I'm definitely a fascist because I don't think we should have echo chambers that promote violence. <laughs> cool. Um, so that's, that's a thing. She ain't no commie. You have to be a cannibal to be a commie. Eating all them homeowners. Yeah, I don't eat the rich yet. Someday, maybe. Perhaps in a video game. Um, I'm against completely corporal punishment with the exception of Krampus. That doesn't, that, 
I, that means you're not completely against corporal punishment. The success of China and Russia proves communism is the best. Very funny. I would even say China is a communist, but I do not want to get into this argument. I am. I don't even believe in communism, so it's really weird when I have to explain people about like communist values or whatever. Because I'm like, I don't even believe in this. Um, comes home with anti-fascist ideas. You're a fascist, basically. I'm. I'm excited for you guys to meet my dad. I wonder what you all think of him. Um. <laughs> your dad thinks you're a fascist does he come on twitch under the handle lifter <laughs> he does not um that'd be really funny uh, he i don't let my parents check in on my stream i'm like that is not allowed that is against the rules um i don't know if they still do it anyways i don't think so i think they get bored over hearing my voice for like four hours um, I'm weighing the idea of corporal punishment versus the worker rights of Krampus demons and ultimately sided with the demons <laughs> um, interesting. What, why do you have to pick corporal punishment or Krampus demons? I'm not, I don't understand. Yeah, China's and communists would stay capitalist. China's like the definition of crony capitalism. Um, you don't, you can't really have a communist state, theoretically. Like, technically, you wouldn't even be able to have, like, a functioning government in a sense. Um, because there'd be still, like, a class difference and a class divide there. But anyways, yeah, China's, like, super duper capitalist, right? They have private enterprises and private uh, entities. Um, the only difference is it's economic capitalism, right? So the people who get to run set operations are those who have, are part of the party, right? Or who have party affiliations or are basically in that, like, upper class of the government. Um... I'm not against demons, you're misunderstood. Satan is a homeboy. I'm Satan. What do you mean he's a homeboy? I'm Satan. Um, well, I guess I am a homeboy or homegirl or whatever. I'm a homie. Um, I told you campus was an asshole. Yeah, China's Russia Plus. But those private entities are all owned by the government party. Yeah, that's, that's the thing, though. It's still, um, how do you call it? it it's still, uh, what is it? It's still like a class divide in a sense, right? It's still it's still capitalism, just crony, crony edition. Um, Vietnam and in case you're doing good on your communism, I don't think there's any country that's communist right now, truly. Like you know, North Korea is a fucking fascist dictatorship. Um, China's capitalist, Russia's capitalist. Um, I don't know about Vietnam, um, so I can't comment on it. But I don't think in this day and age there's I guess you could argue that kibbutz are technically like communist um but yeah the vast like there's there's no state or government that you can truly call commie queen pixie the pope the fallen angel all hell satan our lord and savior yeah i'm everything baby i'm everything anything you can think of that's me it's scary because it works and it's terrible it is terrible i every time we talk about authoritarian governments i i immediately think of china and if like why can't we become like that we totally could so we should be careful to not do that ah the true communist argument classic well here's the thing yeah people are oh why do you guys make me argue about this i don't even believe in it um yeah you could argue that any rendition to technically when when communism has been tried since it's ended up this way it's still technically communist right it becomes that um but I don't know if that's, like, a really fair argument, right? Because theoretically, like, this is right now kind of the opposite of what a communist nation would want, right? So it's like saying, well, you know, look at the Democratic Republic of Korea, and they call themselves a democracy, but it's not really that, is it? And then you also have examples of kibbutz, which are, like, you know, or even studies separate from that, where you have um, populations of, like, 200 people and under living, like, communally, which has worked, Um so maybe it's just more a question of a size than than practice per se, but I'm not sure. I, I don't really believe in it because I don't think we can live in a large scale society um, in an anarcho lifestyle, basically. Um, China, yeah. Vietnam is a one party socialist republic. Um, I'll give you a call me the bone at the capitalist defender. We're the greatest kind of Quran capitalists. Um, Pixie's parents should get all of her streaming money. <laughs> nice. The entire purpose of the Krampus at Christmas time is to punish bad children. Krampus demons work hard once a year collecting all the bad kids and carrying them in a sack. I support their right to work. 
Um, do the kids get returned? Question mark. I hope they do. Um, are you? Sh maybe the Krampus should revolt against uh, against whatever overlord or is forcing them to carry children and punish them. Um, China, for example, is just from the entire middle class from nothing because no red tape. Chinese are not nationalistic, but do not have the idea of individuals much. They don't. I don't know if Cuba's communist. I, th I, I think that might be literally the only communist society, but I'm not sure. Um, you guys are falling for identified, um, for failing to identify the difference between communism and countries claiming communism. How does an economic principle where everyone is equal as fuck have a dictator? Cuba, China, and Russia can't count as communists if they're fucking totalitarian. True. That's when I misspoke. When I was saying, like, Cuba's the only communist country or whatever, I think, like, at one point, they were similar to that. But I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. But it's true that if you want, like, a true communist society, you can't have a dictator or you can't have a totalitarian government because that automatically creates a class divide. Um, but that's the thing. They weren't trying to put it into practice. Um... To, 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 kind of, but they're also like Venezuela, pretty much not functioning because of many things. True. Um, I won't ask you again why this happened. This happens because we love politics in this channel. This is a political chat. Um, Cuba is communist. Well, Germany worked off quite well too under fascism, at least in the capitalist protection sense. Laos is communist. Uh, I have to read more then. You guys have to, I have to read more about those countries before I make a comment. Um, Pixie likes compliments, but if you really want to keep her warm at night, give her old, cold, hard gash. Communism requires a supreme leader to direct it. Uh, not theoretically, right? Like, not, not in theory or even in small practice. Um, how the fuck should I know her next dream? I'm a five-head mom, not her mother. <laughs> um... There's nothing wrong with it. Someone said that whatever China... Oh, that's not me. It's just that they got into a war that's... Oh, no, not me either. One person will ensure equality among all people. Um, the Supreme Leader of China is not doing... Oh, that's, that's not at me either. Okay. 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 I am... Yeah, I don't like it when people make me argue on behalf of communism. I am like, I'm not a commie. <laughs> Stop making me argue about of something I don't believe in. But I just can't let you, like, I guess, speak disinformation or whatever, technically. Um, I'm fairly certain Krampus actually works as an independent contractor and relies on Santa's slave for transport to the ba bad kids' homes. That's, I don't, I, I feel like Krampus is just a child abuser that is claiming they have to work. <laughs> and that's, I, I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, guys, I said I was going to go to sleep. I'm not joking. I really will go to sleep now. It is 3.27 a.m. I am streamed for a total of four hours. I am big, big tired, okay? Um, I hope you guys have a very, very Merry Christmas. I hope you guys remember when Pipsy promised her next stream was a gaming stream. <laughs> Shame her if she forgot. I just forget, okay? And I like talking too much. I'm a fucking blabber addict. Oh my god, I envy clowns. You insane, insane human being. You crazy motherfucker. Oh my god. You, oh, you, you really have been too generous to me this season. I really appreciate it. Thank you a lot. You're, you're fucking crazy. You really don't have to do that. That's, he, I, I, <laughs> words are hard sometimes. <laughs> like, you, you really are fucking too much. Yeah, no, he, fucking Coco for Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> No, thank you. Thank you a lot. You, you really are too kind to me. You guys have all been really kind to me. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate, or you want to decide to rate INB? You're, you're crazy. You're crazy in a good way. Like, thank you. <laughs> really would enjoy the stream and love to see. I, I, I'm trying to stream every day. I, I'm trying to do that more and more often. It's just a little bit hard sometimes, because sometimes my mental health is a little bit cuckoo. Um, but I'm trying to fix it. I'm in the process of going to a psychologist and a therapist. Lottie Blix. Okay, let's raid Lottie then. 
let's go raid Lati. Thank you guys so much for this lovely night. I really appreciate it. Um, here. Good night, everyone. Sleep well. Let's go raid Lottie. Jump on it. Jump on it. Jump, jump, jump on it. Bye, everyone. Have a very, very Merry Christmas. Sleep well. Bye. Let's raid.